Disclaimer. Hey, it's Daria, and today is a bit of a different topic, still about Scrum, but a bit different for my channel because I had this topic on my mind. I thought that it makes sense because I was scrolling through my feed again the other day on LinkedIn and I saw this again and I thought that it is a perfect time to talk about it. More specifically, what is it? It is Scrum Study. This is a company that provides certification on Scrum. I believe that they're not really doing anyone any good service. The certificates they are giving away, they're not really helping people understand Scrum. I believe that they're teaching the wrong things and I'm gonna prove that by just going to their pages. They also are doing the disservice for the companies who are hiring these people because people with this certification do believe that they have gotten a certification, even though just having the certificate is not enough, but you know, that's the first step. They believe that they know Scrum and then they come into the organizations without understanding Scrum. They're actually implementing it in the wrong way, which leads to a lot of uh, overhead problems, challenges. They're not actually addressing the most important of Scrum implementation. I think that it is really hurting our industry. It is hurting us as professionals in this industry because then we come into companies and we see people who hate Scrum. The problem is not Scrum, the problem is who implemented it and how they implemented it. And I believe that we need to fight back, <gasps> not like fight, fight, but I just wanted to talk about it and just show how different it is, the view on Scrum from a professional Scrum trainer, someone who has spent years in the industry, someone who went through stages of uh, reviews and validations before being called a trainer, being able to train others, and then other companies who just kind of created their own thing and now they are giving away random certificates that don't actually worth anything. Let's first go on their website. So this is Scrum Study and this is their website. And first of all, the first thing, kind of the beef I have with them, um, is that they have their own Scrum Body of Knowledge, the S-Book Guide. This is not the Scrum Guide. There is only one Scrum Guide, and this is something that you can find on Scrum Guides, on the scrumguides.org, and this is the official Scrum Guide. There's only one, because I think they are technically cannot officially give away a Scrum certification aligned with the Scrum Guide, they just created their own thing, Guide to Scrum Body of Knowledge. Whatever that is, it's something that is not Scrum. I'm going to download it and we're going to review it together. Okay, so here we are, finally, uh, two hours later on this page, the Scrum Body of Knowledge. Before I go into this awfully long document, um, I wanted to actually jump into their LinkedIn group. Um, I just wanted to look into what they actually have. But this one kind of... Uh, was uh, I really dislike. So the question says, I a Scrum Master, test your knowledge with this multiple choice question. And the question is, which of the following is a key responsibility of a Scrum Master? And there are four, four answers. Creating the product backlog, writing code for the product, assigning tasks to team members, and facilitating Scrum events. None of these are key responsibilities of a Scrum Master. I suppose they're looking for the facilitating Scrum events as the one, the answer to this question. That's what I guess I suppose it is. And a lot of people did actually highlight this as the correct one. Unfortunately, it is not a correct answer. <laughs> like facilitating Scrum events, it's not the key responsibility of a Scrum Master. The key responsibility of a Scrum Master, and let's look into the Scrum Guide, is Establishing Scrum as defined in the Scrum Guide and improving team effectiveness. I'm looking for the questions. Uh, oh, this one also I looked into. Uh, so this one was another one that I particularly specifically hated. So this is by Scrum Study. This is they themselves who have reposted it. And it says Scrum Team Responsibilities. Ensures a clear understanding of epics and personas. Epics and personas are not part of Scrum. They are good practices you can use. You don't have to use them. 
understands the app epics and user stories in the prioritized product backlog. Uh, half of it is untrue. It's epics and user stories, again, practices not specific to Scrum, you don't have to use them. In the prioritized product backlog, not prioritized, ordered, there is a big difference between these two, provides input to the product owner on creation of user stories. Again, not user stories, product backlog items, commits user stories to be done in a sprint. And that is specifically incorrect. Commits to the sprint goal, not to delivering a set number of user stories in a sprint. It is just incorrect. You see, I'm getting hit in by just reading this. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so mad. Okay, few scrum meetings. Oh, this, oh yeah, I saw this one. Oh my God. <laughs> this one says, few scrum meetings and associated processes. Uh, so number one is project vision meeting, number two user group meetings, then the daily stand-up meeting and the release planning session. We go into the scrum guide and the five scrum events are the sprint, the sprint planning, daily scrum, sprint review, and sprint retrospective. Where are those coming from? Because they are not scrum meetings and you should not call them that because they're just not. This one I found very weird. Which role is not a servant leader role? Scrum master, first of all, 12 people voted for the scrum master, come on. A product owner, project manager, none of the above. It's a weird question, like anyone can play the role of a servant leader. So I'm not sure what exactly they were trying to achieve with that question. So the, the, the reason I'm making this video, and I think you might be asking yourselves, why, why are you doing that? You know, why just kind of should talk in this company? Um, the reason for that is that I want people to understand the difference between real scrum and whatever i pretty mad that this company is making a lot of money off of people by giving them um, bullshit certificates that don't worth anything at all. I do believe that these kind of companies or people, you know, like on Udemy who are giving you like the super preparation for the exam, they are hurting our industry. They're seriously hurting our industry. Imagine if this was happening in a medical field, how would you feel? If your doctor had a certificate and they got it from some random place, you know, that doesn't know anything about, about medicine, would you like to go to a doctor like that? No, because we have a pretty strict system for verifying the doctors are actually knowledgeable about their subject. Unfortunately, we don't have that for Scrum and that's just very sad. Okay, so then we have this review and retrospect phase. We don't do phases in Scrum, we have sprints. Phases is what, something that we do in traditional project management. Uh, so we have demonstrate and validate sprint, and then we have retrospect sprint. I think a better, just because you're using the word doesn't mean that it is actually means something. Correct way I think to say that would be inspect and adapt. And then we have a release phase. What is a release phase? We release, continuously, whenever we're ready, whenever we have an increment. Which of the following is not a key element of the Scrum framework? I mean, daily stand-up is not a key element of the Scrum framework, it's daily Scrum. See here, for example, we have 4,000 people, 4,000 people who voted. Who is responsible for monitoring the progress of work during the sprint? And the Scrum master is 67%, not the Scrum master. It's the developers who are monitoring the progress of work. Just the fact that this is here, I don't know if they are kind of giving the right answers for them that they believe are right answers. It's just, just the question I feel creates a lot of confusion. Like for example, if they have this question here and they see that a lot of people are voting incorrectly, if they know that the people are voting incorrectly, which they should, which they should if they know what Scrum is, they, I would think that they would want to do a follow-up post that says, hey, here are the results of this poll, and we just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page and that we don't incorrectly think that the Scrum Master is the one monitoring progress, right? As a creator of this group, as an educational body of knowledge, uh, whatever that is, whatever, however you call it yourself, you are there to educate people and if you see something that doesn't make sense you need to correct that like that is your role 
because why are you then inviting people into your group just to have how many do they have? I think they have over 160,000 uh, members in here. Okay, so let's go actually into the, the Scrum body of knowledge, uh, which is not a thing. Once again, there is only one Scrum guide that has been created by Ken Schreber and Jeff Sutherland. And this is the one you should be reading. Who was it created, right? Lead author. If you are an expert in something, wouldn't you put it your credentials here? Like, for example, when I'm talking about Scrum and I'm saying that, hey, I'm, I'm here to teach you Scrum and I can do that because I'm a professional Scrum trainer and a practicing Scrum master who works with organizations and teams implementing Scrum. That is the credential that we can trust in. But if it just says lead author, but uh, what other credentials give you the give you the knowledge to actually be able to create something like that? So first of all, uh, why are there so many pages? It's uh, it's just way too much. We're on page twenty two. Finally, we have something. So Scrum, as defined in the S S book guide, is applicable to the following. So Scrum is defined as uh, in the in this guide, uh, Scrum is defined in the Scrum guide, um, and that is what where Scrum is defined. That you can't just say, "Hey, Scrum is defined by Daria," and then I just create something completely random, just calling it Scrum and trying to profit from people who are interested in this topic. So over your Scrum. <laughs> okay, uh, already just uh, the first image. Scrum flow for one sprint, project business case, project vision statement, prioritized, product backlog, release planning schedule. Uh, then we have the sprint backlog, um, daily standups, and we create deliverable, and then we have accepted or rejected deliverables or user stories. This whole thing is incorrect, like the whole thing. Let's look into what Scrum actually is. I'm just going to Google, I mean, how hard is it? Product backlog, sprint planning, sprint backlog, the Scrum team, increment, sprint review, retrospective. This is the overview of Scrum. This is not. Some good things. I want to actually, what I'm more specifically interested in, obviously, I'm not going to read through 400 pages. I'm not going to read even through one page because it just, my blood is boiling. I do want to know what they're talking, what do they say about the Scrum Master? So I'm going to apply the Scrum Master here. I can't believe that someone spent, like, I don't know how long to create this. And all of it potentially is incorrect, like 95% of it. Okay, so the Scrum Master. I found the Scrum Master. The Scrum Master is the sport and leader of the Scrum team. Why is it in, in brackets? Scrum Master is a supporting leader of the Scrum team. Okay, uh, I think we might have a different understanding of when to use it. Uh, who moderates and facilitates team interactions as team coach and motivator. Okay, not too bad for now. Ensuring that the team has a productive work environment by guarding the team from external influences, removing any obstacles and enforcing scrum principles, aspects, okay, and processes. Okay, not too bad in this explanation. Okay, so and here we say uh, ta this table summarizes the scrum master's responsibilities in the various scrum processes. First of all, helps identify business stakeholders for the project. I would say that's the product owner. The Scrum Master can help, definitely. Facilitates the selection of members to the Scrum teams. Sometime, maybe. Facilitates creation of the colla collaboration plan and the team building plan. So I'm not sure what the heck that is. Okay, ensures backup resources are available, uh, whatever that means. Developing epics, creation of epics and personas. So I can see how a Scrum Master can be helpful in this. Once again, using this or this or this is not Scrum. Coordinates creation of release planning? No. Committing to user stories. Again, we're not committing to user stories. Prioritize for again. You mean refinement? <laughs> we have a word for that. It's called backlog refinement. You don't need five words to explain the same thing. And do about the Scrum team for the product owner's approval? Okay. Oh, so that's that's all. Oh, okay. I guess that's the, the summary of the Scrum Master role. Seriously, they have they are almost at four hundred 
pages and this is the only thing they technically have written down about the scrum master role i mean everybody already misunderstands the scrum master role and that's it that's all you have optimum size for a scrum team is six to ten members but small enough to collaborate easily huh i see some language there that i know where it is coming from from the scrum guide so they did they did read the scrum guide but then they decided to completely change it i'm actually think i think that I will not be able to pass their test. I'm like w almost 100% sure that I will not actually get their that certification. I thought it was like super cheap. Oh, okay, so they have a free ones. Yes, okay, so we're gonna take a free exam. I thought that their exams were much cheaper and now I looked into the prices there and they are completely ridiculous. <laughs> 200, from 200 to like $500. Uh, which the scrum.org exam, the PSM one, is $150. So I'm ending the test. I am 100% sure that I didn't pass because uh, the questions were stupid and um, based on something that is not scrum. And I'm pretty sure I have a very low score, right? <laughs> 20% max, I think. I have passed. I'm more surprised that I have passed. Uh, what is the passing rate? Okay, well, I am pretty much 100% did not pass because first of all, they only have like two chapters in here. And if you look at the list of chapters they actually have, um, I guess all of the other chapters they pretty much didn't pass. It doesn't actually give me any information on my score. So I assume that regardless of your score, you actually are going to pass the exam. I'm pretty sure because they want you to promote it. They want you to post it on your LinkedIn and promote it. Obviously that brings them more people. I am baffled by these numbers. Look, look at this. I'm also interested. Scrum developer certified is 200, right? Because no one cares about that. Developers don't need a certification, they're developers. It's good if they know Scrum, right? But they do not necessarily need to be certified. Scrum Master certified, which a lot of companies are looking for certified Scrum Master, is $450. It's $150 at scrum.org. And if you're going to Scrum Alliance, you actually pay for a class, not just the exam. Okay, so this is pretty much it of what I wanted to talk about today. And like, I'm, I'm not trying to go after specific people really in here uh, or, and I definitely don't want you to do anything like that. You know, I, I just wanted to share my view on what I found here because there are quite a few things that are just incorrect. The 12 pages of the Scrum Guide that's enough because it's very complicated. There are lots of things that you need to figure out that are focused on principles, how you implement different things. And adding more to that, I really don't think that it helps. I think that it makes it even harder. And unfortunately, it creates professionals who believe that they have the knowledge to be able to lead teams and to be able to help organizations become more agile, but they actually do not. That I think is the biggest problem for me. I feel like sometimes it's so easy to just get into the industry and say, hey, I'm a Scrum Master. I was doing something completely different and now I am a Scrum Master in this company and, and I'm not qualified. I don't, don't want you to go after anyone like the creators or the, their LinkedIn group, you know, I don't think that it's worth it. I just think that when you are hiring um, for a Scrum Master role, if someone has a Scrum Study certification, just consider that it is not a certification that you want to look out for. Same if you are looking for a job, do not invest in, a, in this kind of certification because it's not a real one. I'm sorry, it is not. And if you want to have real Scrum experience, understand really learn from the experts, you need to go either to scrum.org, Scrum Alliance, or Scrum Inc. But those are created by people who know Scrum. Anyway, so I think that is it for me today. That is 
all I wanted to cover. In terms of the creators of Scrum Study, I generally do not believe that people are by default malicious, but it, it does beg a question of whether you are actually trying to benefit from the industry just because it's very popular. Maybe not. Maybe you just really don't know. I definitely don't don't want to, like, I, I don't know these people personally. I really don't care about them, who they are, how, whether they're good people, they might be good people, that's great. But what they're created is not good and I wish it didn't exist. Technically, I can say that people are getting scammed by this, believing that they are learning something that is worth something. Anyway, uh, if you learned something new today, remember to like this video and subscribe. Tell me more in the comments what you think about this. Uh, do you believe that it is a problem to have companies like that or doesn't matter, whatever, people will, you know, do what they want to do. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers and scrum on.